Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nassin. I am 38. I have four beautiful kids, a floofy fluffy husky, two kitty kitties, and I love the clicky clickies. Normally my floofy fluffy husky is like right here as I'm cooking. I don't know where he is. I think he's sleeping, but that doesn't mean you won't see him in, the, in this video. So today I'm kind of doing a meal prep. So I'm doing a lot of different things. Now I've been chopping and I really hope you can't hear Austin and Ailey in the background. But anyways, I've been chopping, I've been cutting up things, and I have all of my ingredients here that I'm gonna start with the first first thing, which is gonna be these uh, zucchini balls. And I have this, they're called cheesy zucchini balls. It is um, on sweetishoney.co. You can find this recipe there. It is, uh, it's got a lot of stuff in it. So first I had to take uh, I took two small zucchini and I grated them with my cheese grater actually. Um, I just grated them and then I took paper towels and I pressed it down to get the water out. And it, you need about a cup and a half of grated zucchini so I have that. I have three garlic cloves cut up really finely. I have three eggs. I have one cup of almond flour. You're gonna need paprika, oregano, ground cumin, and some salt. The recipe also calls for psyllium husk, but I don't have that, couldn't find it anywhere, so I'm gonna make this without it. Um, and then you're also gonna need one cup of shredded mozzarella. So while I'm doing all this, I have my oven preheating to 370. My daughter is approaching eating grapes very slowly for some reason. Go ahead. I don't want to put them away yet. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna wash the zucchini, cut off the ends, and then grate it. They say that you should leave the skin on because it's gonna like give it more fiber and it's better for you then to get rid of some of the stuff like i said you can squeeze it into you can either have it into something like this or put it in a strainer um, and smush it down with your paper towel or pour it into a paper towel or what are those uh cheesecloths or something like that just to get the moisture out so i got my big bowl here i got my uh grated zucchini dump that into your bowl if you guys only knew the amount of mess that I have going on right here. Today is my birthday and I am spending it cooking. So I'm gonna use this filthy um, thing and I'm gonna actually crack my eggs into it and I'm gonna beat the eggs to a bloody pulp with no blood. If you don't find me funny, I'm sorry. This is my, this is me. So I'm just gonna beat these in here because why dirty another dish? I don't wanna dirty another dish. I want to use the same dish as many times as I can. <laughs> I'm always told that I don't beat my eggs correctly. Chris is always like, this isn't beating an egg. You had to, this is beating an egg. I just like do whatever I want to the egg and the egg will get beaten. All right, so I got my three beaten eggs. I've already added my zucchini. I'm gonna add my egg. I'm gonna add my almond flour. I'm gonna add in my crushed garlic. And I plan on making making these and then like having them as sides for just like dinner throughout the week. Now you should need two tablespoons of whole psyllium husk if you have it, but I don't have it. And a tablespoon of dried oregano. I'm actually gonna use this um, from Fresh Jacks. I always have a code down in the description box. I love Fresh Jacks, they're all organic, really good um, seasonings and I love, I absolutely love them. And I'm an eyeballer, so I eyeball. We're gonna, we're gonna need a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of paprika, a cup of mozzarella cheese, and I just have probably, this is probably about a cup left of this. Usually I shred my own, but I don't feel like it. And I have that, so I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna take my fork here and I'm just gonna mix this all together. I really hope this turns out since I don't have psyllium husk. Alexa? What can I use instead of psyllium husk? Recipe calls for psyllium husk. What can I use instead? Yeah, xanthan gum. But what's the ratio? You can use flax seeds, xanthan gum. So if replacing psyllium husk with xanthan gum, what are the ratios? Every one part of xanthan gum with two parts psyllium husk. So we'll only need half of the psyllium husk um, and it wanted two tablespoons. So we're gonna do one tablespoon of xanthan gum. 
All right, so we got our xanthan gum in there. Now we're gonna stir that up. Some just flew out. All right, so I'm gonna get my baking sheet with my parchment paper on it, and uh, we're gonna start making some zucchini balls. It should make 18, and these are very, <laughs> very like, maybe I should have squeezed them a little bit more because I can't roll these. This is just not, they're gonna be flops. They're gonna be zucchini flats. And that's okay, whatever. This is why I'm usually not a baker. I don't even have to roll these, I'm just globbing. Okay, we're globbing. We're making zucchini globs. As long as they taste how they're supposed to taste, I don't care how they look. Also, this is gonna be a lot more than 18. What did I do, did I use too much zucchini? I didn't think I did, I thought I did a cup and a half. Oh, my zucchini flats, or blobs, I forgot what we were calling them. Tiffany, I real need your help. So, I have more left in the bowl. I have 12 here on the sheet. I'm only gonna do this 12 right now. We're gonna bake them at 370 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, so while we're waiting for the zucchini bites to get ready, we can listen to the musical renditions of Tiffany's phone going off every two seconds. And we can also start our, um, potato salad well our cauliflower salad we're going to be using this I, I just threw I cut up chopped up this cauliflower that I got today at the store I threw it into this and I put it into the microwave for about five six minutes and drained whatever water came out that's a really good way to soften your cauliflower like steaming it um it, I did that and now I'm going to uh take one hard-boiled egg I'm gonna peel this we're gonna cut as Tiffany drops every measuring cup in the house, we're going to cut up our egg. Can you give me another one of those eggs, please? We're gonna do two eggs. Cause this doesn't, this recipe is from ketocookingchristian.com and it doesn't give any amounts. It just says, use this. So, what's happening? I told you time and time again, I'm famous and you guys never believe me. If my video gets flagged because Austin and Ali's music is playing in the background, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> All right, add in your chopped up egg. Oh my God, I'm making a huge mess. And here's the link. He's like, oh, now I smell something. Earlier, all you were doing was doing stuff with vegetables. Now you got the trash can over here. It's open. Is I smell egg. This is the uh, tables. Yeah. Tim's being wool. I'm going to take a couple of dill pickles and cut them up and put them in there. Maybe just one. One dill pickle. And we're gonna cut that up pretty fine. I've never made potato salad that had a pickle in it, so not sure how that'll go down. Co uh, half a cup of coconut oil. The, there's coconut oil right there, liquid coconut oil. Um, Tiffany's making my Lakanto sugar-free brownie mix for me. I'm gonna take some red onion, and earlier I did chop up some red onion for some cucumber. So I love the way onion smells. Oh, this. That smells good. Mm. I'm just taking, a, are you using a hard boiled egg? No. Where'd you get it? I love it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know what you're doing. Thought you grabbed one of those eggs right there. I'm like, those are hard boiled eggs. What, how many, I bake all the time and you think I would do that. A stupid thing like that. Who do you think I am, I love? Chopped up some of that. I'm gonna throw that in there. You need to breathe it from this kitchen. All right, now I'm annoyed because you're supposed to put apple cider vinegar in here and there's no amounts. I don't, oh, scroll all the way down to the very bottom after all the <laughs> instructions and it's down there. So three hard boiled eggs. Tiffany, can you give me another hard boiled egg? Two tablespoons of dill pickle, one tablespoon of red onion. We're good there. Let's, add, let's do this one more egg to this. Link already left. He was like, I ain't messing with any of those smells. But now he's coming back because I got another egg out. <laughs> but he can't get up here next to me where you guys normally see him because the trash can's right there. Um, We're gonna add some salt and pepper to taste so i'm just gonna probably add more at the end too dried dill i bought dill 
from Big Lots, actually. You can use fresh dill if you want. Half a teaspoon. I probably did a whole damn tablespoon. Now we're gonna make our um, mayonnaise mixture that we're gonna pour over it in the beaker. I know you guys like that when I called it that last time. So three-fourths cup of mayonnaise. A little bit more. Isn't that cool? Didn't even need to dirty anything. Got my mayonnaise. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I did get this at Big Lots too. I'm gonna add in some chives, cause why not? Everything's better with chives. You can add half a teaspoon of celery salt too, but I thought I had some, but I guess I didn't. I usually have it. And a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix that all together. Your dry ingredients. Once you have your mayonnaise mixture, just pour it on top. It smells too much for Tiffany. I really can't breathe. You should probably chop your cauliflower, cause I didn't. Don't be like me, cut your cauliflower. So in my um, community tab, I wrote, give me some recipes that you guys wanna see me make or ideas. I got um, some casseroles, some ways to get your veggies in, which is kind of what I'm going with today is ways to get your veggies in. All right, now we're gonna mix it up now that we chopped up the cauliflower. I'm gonna add a little bit more mayonnaise because to me, it needs to be thicker. All right, that tastes a lot better. So here's what it looks like. It almost just tried to escape, but here's what it looks like. As you can see, from a distance, it does actually look like potato salad, right? I mean, look at, this is what I'm dealing with. But yeah, it actually tastes pretty good. It doesn't have, it doesn't have that traditional cauliflower taste. So that kind of takes it away. So if you're somebody who wants to eat more cauliflower, but you're struggling with that, this actually, isn't bad. 338 calories, four total carbs, two fiber, so two net carbs, five protein, 33 grams of fat. It doesn't say the serving size. So this is four servings. That's a lot. I mean, this looks like a lot, but this is only four servings. All right, so the next thing that I'm making is a, um, it's by Bobby is Bobby's Cozy Kitchen. And it's a creamy low carb cucumber salad. So if you're gonna make this in, this recipe the way it says, you're gonna need four cups of cucumbers, one bunch of thinly sliced radish, one and a half teaspoons of salt, uh, half a red onion sliced thinly, half a cup of sour cream, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. If you don't have that, you can use um, apple cider vinegar. That's what I'm gonna be using. Three to five drops of a sweetener. Um, a teaspoon of garlic paste, half a teaspoon of black pepper, three tablespoons of fresh dill finely chopped, and three tablespoons of fresh chives finely chopped. I don't like to follow rules. I'm doing this my way. I have about two tablespoons of garlic paste in here. I have about four chopped up mini cucumbers, just a couple of slices of onion, no way half of an onion, and a handful of sliced up radishes, and I put some pepper in here. I am now going to be adding um some dill weed in here it says about three to five drops of your sweetener and i can't do drops so that was literally just like it peed in there some salt a tablespoon of apple cider where's my chives got my chives i need my my sour cream half a cup of sour cream stuff's flying everywhere probably want to mix your dressing apart and pour it over like I did with the potato salad, but I don't know what's wrong with me. It looks really good. Here it is. I think I've actually would have probably liked mine better without adding the the sugar into it. Not really sure why. I needed to add that. I'm gonna add some more pepper and some more salt and actually some more dill. I would not even add the sweetener. I don't know. And these things will all probably taste a lot better after they've sat in the refrigerator for a while too. After like all the different combinations, the flavor combinations have been able to come together. All right, so here's what it looks like. Nice little side to have for your barbecues and just things, you know. Sometimes I struggle with having like a vegetable side with my dinner and I end up eating like a lot of just like salads. But everything that I made today is nice alternative to just eating a salad. It's something nice that you can just make, you can have, and you can just scoop it out on your plate, have it alongside 
your chicken, your steak, your whatever, or just eat it alone. So we have that. We have some tuna. I don't need to show you how to make tuna. Everybody knows how to make tuna. This is just, there's some pickle and onion and celery in here, mayonnaise and salt and pepper and tuna fish. We have that. We made, we made our fake potato salad with the uh, onion and, oh, it's starting to smell really good, and the cauliflower. And then our zucchini things are done. Our, our zucchini flats are done. And they actually turned out pretty well. That's what they look like. They smell really good. Now let's try it. They taste pretty good. These were pretty easy to make and I would definitely make these again. Um, these are something nice. They are, they have a bready light consistency. It's a good way to get your veggies in and they're good. Something I didn't completely fail at. So it's like 62 calories for one of these balls. It's about 1.4 grams net carbs and about 4.1 grams of protein and two grams of fat. That's not bad. And they're really, really good. I actually really like these. So that's th those are my keto side dishes, a good way to get your veggies in, all things that I've actually never tried and I actually like them. So I'm gonna be having these throughout the week alongside my meals and I gotta get my kitchen cleaned up. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day, week, month, year, whatever it may be when you watch this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.